You have now had pituitary surgery, and we are going to discuss how to make sure that you can be the safest and healthiest after having surgery. After having pituitary surgery, when lying down in bed, we want to make sure you are using two pillows behind your head, or if you have a bed that can incline, to use a slight of an incline when sleeping at night. This will help promote bringing the swelling down in your brain after surgery. After having any kind of brain surgery, it is very common to become dizzy if you switch positions too fast. So please remember when you are lying down and going to sit up to give yourself a few seconds before standing to not get dizzy. We want you up moving around after surgery taking five to six walks at minimum a day of five to ten minutes will help your body heal faster after brain surgery if you drop something on the ground please do not bend at your waist to pick up the object you can feel free to squat down but do not hang your head below your shoulders After surgery, we do not want you lifting anything heavier than 10 pounds until your follow-up appointment. That is around a gallon of milk. We also do not want you straining to have any bowel movements after surgery. Please make sure to take some stool softeners such as Colace or laxatives such as Miralax or Senecot to help make going to the bathroom easier. We do not want you performing any strenuous exercise after surgery. This includes running, jumping, jogging. We also would like you to refrain from driving until your follow-up appointment the following week. We do not want you drinking from any straws or blowing your nose in addition to introducing any foreign objects into your nose after surgery. This also includes not using a CPAP machine if you do use one at home at night to help you sleep. If you have any concerns after being discharged from the hospital after surgery, please do not hesitate to reach out to your surgeon's clinic. The following reasons would be reasons to be concerned and to reach out. Changes in your vision, your speech, you're walking or swallowing, if any of them are getting worse, we want your surgeon to be aware. Any new weakness or new numbness in your body, you didn't have it before surgery and you don't have it freshly post-op, but say three days go by and all of a sudden you are having new weakness, I want your surgeon to be aware. If you are experiencing headaches that are getting worse by changing your position, as an example, you do not have a headache when you are lying down, but as soon as you sit up, you have an excruciating headache that then quickly gets better the second you lay down. We really want you to alert your surgeon. If you are having any nausea or vomiting, please call the office. Any new neck stiffness, this would be that your neck is so stiff you can't even turn to look down the hallway. Or any changes in your wakefulness, you feel like as the days are going on, you are getting sleepier and sleepier and having a hard time staying awake during a conversation with someone. If you are experiencing any increase of bloody or clear drainage from your nose, please alert your surgeon's clinic immediately. The first person you are always going to call is your surgeon's clinic office. This number will be provided to you on your discharge paperwork. Now, what if something like this happens and it is a weekend, a holiday, or outside normal business hours? You will see noted here an emergency number to call in order to get in contact with our neurosurgeons that are here within the hospital at all hours of the day. This number is to be used only for the emergencies, such as the ones that we just spoke about. To promote healthy healing after surgery, we want to make sure you are taking the proper nutrition in on a daily basis. Eating enough protein, such as meat, fish, 
eggs, yogurt, cheese, beans, peanut butter, things of that nature help promote healing and will give you energy. Eating enough fruits and vegetables will also help promote healing after surgery. And we want to make sure that you are following your fluid restriction, which is one liter until you follow up with your surgeon's clinic the following week. Fluid restrictions include coffee, water, tea, popsicles, watermelon. Those are just a few examples of what is included in a fluid restriction. It is very important to stay on that one liter fluid restriction until your follow-up appointment. You will see here that we worked with a nutritionist who made a little mock menu just to give you some ideas of some healthy food options to have a well-balanced diet after surgery. Below are some common medications that people after pituitary surgery go home on. For pain control, we really recommend Tylenol. Tylenol works really well on controlling any sort of post-operative headache that you may experience after you go home. You can take regular strength Tylenol, which is 650 milligrams every four to six hours, or you can take extra strength Tylenol which is 1,000 milligrams every six to eight hours. We would like you to avoid any type of non-steroidal medications such as Motrin, Advil, or Aleve for up to six weeks after your surgery or until your surgeon clears you. We try to avoid narcotics after any sort of brain surgery, but if you are prescribed any sort of nar narcotic, such as oxycodone, we just would like you to know that it can make you very constipated. So make sure that you're taking those stool softeners and laxatives that we talked about earlier. And that you can take it with Tylenol, but Tylenol should always be your first line of defense for pain control. Last but not least, some patients will be discharged on hydrocortisone. It is very important that you take your hydrocortisone as prescribed morning and evening. If you are getting hydrocortisone at home, we want you to hold your dose of hydrocortisone the evening before getting your labs drawn. So for an example, if you are having your labs drawn Tuesday morning, we would like you to hold your hydrocortisone Monday evening. Go in Tuesday morning to get your labs drawn on an empty stomach, and then as soon as you are done getting your labs drawn, take all your scheduled medications, including hydrocortisone, first thing as soon as those labs are done. When you are discharged from the hospital, you will be given laboratory slips that you can have your blood drawn the day before your follow-up appointment with your clinic. For an example, if you are discharged on a Thursday, you will have your labs drawn Tuesday morning, first thing on an empty stomach before your follow-up appointment Wednesday. Please bring those lab slips to any of your local laboratories where you can get your labs drawn. You do not have to have your labs drawn at a Brigham and Women's laboratory. It is totally acceptable to go to one closer to you. It is very important to have your labs done so they are resulted by time your appointment comes the following day. If you have any concerns about getting your labs done or you have some more questions about post-op recovery, please do not hesitate to reach out to your surgeon's clinic.